Hi, this slide is a kickoff, uh, an overview slide for a subsection of the whole learning how to learn uh, on the subject of mastery. And first of all, as a general backstop, I highly recommend a, uh, let me get my pen working here, I highly recommend a book called Mastery. It's in paperback by George Leonard. It's a gem of a book. I've given away easily north of 100 copies since it first came out in 1990. I'm sure that I've sold, you know, another thousand indirectly for good old George. George himself is, I think he's still alive. Um, he's a professional lifelong writer. He's probably about 90. He's about a third degree black belt in Aikido uh, out in uh, Mill Valley, uh, California, Northern California. And uh, he originally came out with an article on mastery in, a, in an Esquire magazine in the late 80s, and it became a book. Now, what I've done is, you know, Googling on the Internet, I found a, a, a link, which I put right here, where basically it's, it's George's book for free. Now, I don't, you know, it may not be active forever, but certainly that's a place to go. Uh, I think you ought to just get the book because it's cheap enough and you're going to mark it up like crazy. Uh, in the book, he starts off by introducing uh, graphically sort of five different scenarios where we're, we're he's charting sort of skill development uh, over a period of time. And the, you know, there's the mastery path, there's the one of the dabbler, the obsessive, the hacker. And there's another one which he calls the path of endless climax, which is basically a, a myth. It doesn't exist that advertising, you know, consumerism sort of pushes off on us to get us to, to, you know, think that if we only had something now and we can't afford it, no problem, charge it, borrow from the future, consume it now, and then you'll have instant happiness. Uh, so we'll look at each one of these things in a little bit more detail. And as we go along the path of mastery from, you know, one to 10 or, white belt to black belt uh, as an outside sales rep or inside salesperson or warehouse person or a driver or a branch manager because these concepts and this pattern and learning process can be applied to all jobs in distribution. Uh, we also want to be, design, be uh, very aware of a concept called flow. Now flow is an, a psychological output phenomenon uh, where you're so engaged in what you're doing, you look at your watch and go, oh my God, it, where did the time go? I'm an hour and a half late for something else. However, there are a number of things you can do as far as the design of how you go about something or learning something on the front end, on the inputs, that will actually increase the odds that you'll get into flow and it'll become a very joyful experience. Now there's a fellow, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name, uh, University of Chicago professor. And he has, has sort of coined the term psychological flow and studied it, researched it, whatever. And so there's, there's material on, uh, on the net, you know, about, you know, this chap and, and, and uh, Wikipedia, for example, and the concept of psychological flow. I, I will, of course, get into kind of snippets uh, on, on all these subjects in the modules that, that follow. So that's the, the kickoff clip, and in the next one, we'll look at the, the general pattern or process of the mastery path. Thank you.